Souls RNG is a game where you roll for better tags, such as common, rare, etc. And the whole point is to try and get better tags with a high rarity. First, let's see why this game stands out amongst other already popular games that have the similar gambling mechanics. I'll be using Beastorm Simulator and please donate to compare in this example. If you don't know Beastorm Simulator, you may be a little bit confused, but Beastorm Simulator perfectly uses social motivation, which is when you see someone next to you with such cool gear and high level bees, and shiny bees. This switches a button in your brain that motivates you to become as good as them. Please Donate also has the same social motivation aspect. It displays how much Robux a player has earned, and when you see someone that got donated, let's say 2000 Robux, you feel the motivation to stay in the game and beg for Robux hoping you will get the same amount in some time. And in Souls RNG, you see people with 1 in a whatever million and these cool shiny auras and having the feeling of wanting to become as cool as them. Now all three of these games have the same feature that allows someone to gain progress while doing nothing. It's AFKing. And even if you AFK for maybe months and maybe years, these games puts you in an infinite loop where you can gain something without the gameplay ever ending. Now, I could have added Tycoons into this list, as they also have some sort of way to AFK and get money. But the reason I haven't mentioned Tycoons is because they eventually end. Just like Superhero Tycoon. I remember playing this when I was really really young, and now I never touch the game, because I've already completed every single hero, and now I know the outcome of what's going to happen, and there really isn't anything to progress after you complete the Tycoon. Now let's see what made Souls RNG so popular. I could say this game is just another boring clicker game, but then why do people play this? Well, you see, when Souls RNG was first released, you needed to have 5000 rolls in order to unlock the auto roll feature, which I know what you're thinking. It's just like every other clicking simulator, but a little better as you don't have to spend Robux. But 3 months later after the game was released, they made an update that would change the game's future forever. On March 3rd, 2024, Souls RNG completely removed the 5000 roll limit, meaning anyone including someone who joined the game 2 seconds ago, could use the auto roll feature to grind the game. This was revolutionary, as the same day they removed the limit, the player count of Souls RNG increased by a total of 30,000 players. Now, that's just one massive update that made this game so popular. But what else made the game have near 100,000 active players every single day? Yup, you might have guessed it. It's thousands and thousands of players AFK grinding while they eat breakfast, go to school, and even while they're sleeping. This is so smart, as games that have features that allow you to automatically grind overnight and wake up to something really really rare makes the players more addicted. This is similar to why Beastorm Simulator has so many active players every single day. But back to Souls RNG. Now, according to a study on gambling, the way the brain gets addicted to gambling is pretty interesting. Moments of apparent pleasure are because hitting a win sets off a rainfall of chemicals in your brain that make you feel good. When gamblers watch the results of their bet, they also show increased brain activation in the reward system of the brain, including the chordate nucleus which you could also call the center part of your brain. This may be particularly strong in people who are addicted to gambling. But that isn't the only problem. Dopamine a so-called neurotransmitter which helps nerve cells to communicate, is also known to take an important role in the brain's reward system. A study has found that gamblers showed significantly higher levels of excitement when dopamine was released in their brains compared to healthy people. Also, the key point about gambling is not just the winning that people enjoy, it's about taking part, but also taking part repeatedly when you don't win. But if we think about it, most of these players of Sol RNG aren't really taking part in the game. 
as they're rolling constantly even if they're away from their device, also called AFKing. The sense of winning, or so we call getting a really rare tag in Souls RNG, means that players will play the game for however long just to get a rare tag. One important thing we should take note is that Souls RNG is completely free to play, meaning there are no losses when you click the roll button. This is why players will roll millions and thousands of times and still keep playing if they don't wake up to a rare tag as they have nothing to lose. Moving on from how people got addicted, let's see how Souls RNG used such a genius game mechanic to make the players addicted. If you have ever seen a traditional slot machine, you would see that there are gaps on both of the bottom and the top that shows the number or symbols above it. In this machine for example, you need to roll 3 7s in order to hit the jackpot. When a person rolls the slot, the numbers will stop at a random position and it will have a random chance of landing on either a triple seven or just some random combination of symbols and numbers. Now, random chance. This is where the name Soul RNG came in. RNG means random number generator. In Souls RNG, it basically means you will get a random tag every time you roll, hence the reason why people might get so unlucky or lucky when rolling. Now, why did I talk about a slot machine and how you can see the bottom and top of the cards? It's because Soul RNG perfectly uses that mechanic inside of their games. When you click roll, the game shows you an animation of multiple tags rolling. And right before you get a bad tag, there is a chance of the tag before being a super rare tag or a tag you might have been wanting to get. This gives the player the illusion of winning and makes them think, Bruh. maybe I'll get it the next roll. Speaking of illusion, this game also uses the illusion of skill. Yes, items like the potion of luck, luck gloves, and etc. do give you luck when you use it. I mean, probably the devs did set it to that. But what also increases is the rarity of the next tag. This means even if you have a luck potion and get a very rare tag, the next tag has a possible chance of it being probably four times the rarity of your current tag, making the possibilities near impossible. Now, this so-called game makes you fall into some sort of mental state where the sense of value just disappears, and that's what you're playing for. You play the game knowing you have a chance of gaining nothing at the end, but with the thousands of similar games on Roblox, the players know the feeling of winning and that's what they're playing for, even if something is near impossible to obtain. Now by no means did I make this video to hate on Souls RNG, I do think it's a pretty cool game and it is really interesting I guess, the game aspect, but yeah make sure to subscribe and leave down your opinions on Souls RNG and I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.